Hello everyone, I'm Eric, and you're watching Oakland Tobacconist. Today I have a very special review, uh, one of our most popular inside the humidor, and a personal favorite. It is the Corojo 5 Maduro by Gran Habana. The Crow 5 Maduro Gran Robusto is a 7x54 shaggy foot Maduro cigar. It is a dark oily wrapper using a dark uh, cured Corojo leaf. Now this is a Gran Robusto but it also comes in a shaggy foot meaning it's flavored at the end. You're tasting binder and filler and then you get more down to the wrapper leaf. I've had the cigar a number of occasions but um, this is the first review we're actually going to try. So we're going to go ahead and start it up, see where we are. As far as I know it's in the medium to plus, medium plus, medium full range. We're going to go ahead and give it a try. Perfect cut. A lot of people find with Grand Habano they're actually somewhat tightly packed. Not a tight draw but tightly packed. It tends to burn slower but burns very well. Now as we're toasting it, we're just toasting the filler leaves and the binder leaves. So it's kind of going to flail out a bit until it gets into the, um, the wrapper leaf. But we're going to go ahead and get that lit up. So from the get-go, this is before we even hit the wrapper leaf. I'm getting hit with a blast of flavor, a lot of uh, sweetness and a lot of pepper sort of complex together. More sweetness and then on the retro hail and on the end you have more of the, I would say, white pepper and black pepper. Um, you have some darker notes, I would say like a high percentage of cocoa, like in the 80s to 90% of cocoa. Um, dark earth, also there's a hint of cedar on the back end as well and it's kind of where that sweetness comes from the cocoa and um, from the front there, then on the back end, as I say, you have a little bit of uh, that pepper and you have a little bit of that cedar and wood. So we're going to keep on smoking this and see where it takes us. As we get into the wrapper leaf transition, we'll be sure to be right here for that transition. So we are back with this Corojo 5 Maduro, just getting into the wrapper leaf. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm getting a lot of like darker notes, some of the more of those sweeter chocolatey notes, but also a bit of cherry with it. Sort of like a dark cherry that's on like the underside. It takes a lot of those like lighter like cedar and pepper that I was talking about and kind of like mellows them out, but well rounds them. So I'm getting more of the sweeter notes with a hint of pepper in them. So it's transitioning perfect. The burn is razor sharp. In spite of having a shaggy foot, in spite of going into the wrapper, the wrapper is burning perfectly. I'm getting a lot of those darker and cherry notes and then on the retro hail, some of that pepper still coming through. It's a perfect type of blend. It's doing really well, so we're gonna see how it holds up in the second third, but this cigar so far is burning perfectly, tasting perfectly. We'll see where it lands us. All right, we're back and we're getting into the second third. A lot of that pepper has mellowed out. We're still in that kind of dark cherry, dark cocoa phase. A little bit of wood on the backside and the burn is just, as I say, razor sharp. You can definitely see why the Corojo 5 Maduro has withstood the test of time in Gran Habana's portfolio. It has a great taste to it, great aroma, great room note. Um, just a phenomenal snow of smoke. So thank you for reviewing this cigar with me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Watch for more videos coming. And always join us here at Oakland Tobacconist where conversation lights up.